Hey everyone, it's Megan and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post videos about college, tech, and lifestyle every Saturday, so be sure to subscribe down below for more content. So I'm making today's video because I've gotten a few comments now on my internship hacks video, as well as seeing some comments in Facebook groups wondering about Google Step formerly known as Google EP, and just like general application tips. I participated in this program two summers ago, so I'm making this video to share some of the stuff that I know to basically help you guys apply and figure things out along the way. First up, I'm going to be going over logistics, so things like dates, eligibility, and sections of the application. After that, I'm going to go into a little bit of advice that I have for the application and interview process, and then I'll finish off by sharing some of my experiences from the STEP program. Now, if you're only interested in certain parts of the video, feel free to use the little time bar at the bottom or the timestamps I put in the description below to skip to whichever parts you're most interested in. Just before I begin, as a disclaimer, I don't represent Google in any way, and the things that I say are not necessarily representing what Google says, um, and also I'm just kind of sharing my personal experiences and things to the best of my knowledge. Additionally, this video might not be up to date on updates that Google makes in the next couple of months, so be sure to always check Google's career website before making any assumptions. Um, I'm just kind of here to help you guys get started. I'll go ahead and link the website that I'm talking about in the description below, just so that you guys can reference it as I talk about it. All right, so first up, I'm going to be sharing logistical information like dates, eligibility, and sections of the application, as well as some requirements that they have for when you're applying and when you're working there. First of all, what does STEP stand for? It stands for Student Training in Engineering Program and was formerly known as EP, which means Engineering Practicum. It's a program designed to kickstart your career in tech, so it's really, really good if you don't have any prior internship experience because it can kind of be that like introduction to tech that you haven't necessarily had yet. So that begs the question, who's actually eligible for STEP? Well, STEP is specifically a program for first and second year college students. So if you're a high schooler and interested in working at Google, you should check out their CSSI, Computer Science Summer Institute program. And if you're like a third or fourth year college student or a graduate student, go ahead and check out their SWE Plus internships. In terms of formal requirements for eligibility, Google asks that you are enrolled in a college or university pursuing a bachelor's degree in tech. Additionally, that you're in your first or second year, like I just mentioned. They also ask that for first year students, they've taken at least one computer science course. And for second year students, they've taken at least two computer science courses prior to the summer that they'd be working. So it doesn't have to be prior to applying, but just prior to when you'd actually be working there. One thing that I do want to point out is that STEP is a program geared towards historically underrepresented groups in computing. So that might include women or people of color who historically don't really have a seat at the table when it comes to tech. Does this mean that if you aren't a woman or a person of color, you shouldn't apply? Not at all. I do think that you should still apply. However, just be cognizant of the fact that this is kind of a program geared towards bringing people in that aren't already in the space. So if you take a look at Google's website, they don't actually have dates posted for the 2021 summer yet, but you can kind of just infer based on past dates. So last year they opened up the applications September 16th and close them on November 1st. So you can kind of infer that the applications will be opening up in like a week or two, just like mid-September-ish, um, and they'll probably still be due early November. Keep in mind that STEP applications are on a rolling basis, which essentially means that they look at applications as they come in. So if you're applying like on November 1st, you probably don't have as good of a chance as someone who applies really early right after it opens up. So just kind of be aware of that if you're like me and you like to procrastinate your applications. Since this one's rolling, it's probably a good idea to start it and finish it earlier rather than later. Speaking of the application, it's broken up into a couple of different parts. At least it was when I did it. So you first have your updated resume and I can get into that a little bit more in the advice section. Then you have your transcripts. 
And then you have your essay portion, uh, which is something that is pretty unique for Google Step. Finally, there's an option to upload a cover letter. However, I don't think that's the most important part of the application. In terms of the essay portion, when I applied, it was three questions and then two like information sections. So when I applied, the questions were, how were you first introduced into tech? What is your strongest programming language? And how do your background and experiences make you unique? So those were all kind of like a place where I could talk about my experiences in a more personalized way than my resume necessarily offered. Additionally, they offered two information sections. One was just listing the courses that you were planning to take in the following semester. And then the other was just saying all of your extracurricular activities that were like technical in nature. All right, so now you've decided, hey, I really want to apply to Google Step. It seems like an awesome program and I fit the eligibility requirements. But how do you do that? How do you make your application the best it can be? How do you really, really make sure you have your best chances at getting an interview? I'll kind of break down the sections of the application and then tell you what I think is best for making a killer application. First of all, having an up-to-date resume is so, so important. I cannot emphasize this enough. It is so important because that is the one thing that companies look at to decide whether or not they should offer you an interview. On my resume, I have five sections. Education, work experience, technical projects, extracurricular activities, and skills. I don't have an objective section or a statement of purpose or anything like that because they aren't super relevant in tech. If you want more information or advice on how to craft a really good resume, be sure to subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments down below. In the next couple of weeks, I'm planning on making a video comparing the resume that got me rejected from STEP to the resume that got me accepted to STEP. So I'm going to be giving a lot of really good resume tips in that video. So again, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. I also really want to emphasize that the essay portion is extremely important. The recruiters probably aren't going to be looking at your cover letter, but the essay portion is where they can actually look and make sure that your technical skills and personality slash background will really mesh well with Google's culture and the STEP program. One of my tips for the essay writing and also just for the conversations that you have as you move along is I would really emphasize that you're here to learn. I think that it's important to remember that you're a college student, so internships are primarily for you learning. If all you want is to get Google on your resume, then that's not really the passion that they're looking for. After you apply, if a recruiter reaches out to you, be sure that you're really polite and kind. Not only do you want to make a good impression on your recruiter, but they also are with you throughout the entire process when you're getting interviewed, when you're doing team matching, maybe even when you're trying to get a return offer. So really, your recruiter is your friend. Like, be nice to them, ask them any questions that you have, and don't just like be rude or be like, uh, why am I not getting an interview? Like, why aren't you helping me? Just kind of treat them respectfully, I guess. Now, while you're waiting to hear back, I would recommend to make sure you're doing interview prep even if you haven't gotten an interview offer yet. If you front load the work, then you don't have to like scramble to do all of your interview prep right before your actual interview date. They'll tell you this when you actually get your interview, but essentially the way that Google does interviews is they have two 45 minute interview slots and each interview slot is with a different person and there's a 15 minute break in between them. Each one can have one to three questions and they kind of vary in difficulty, but typically they get more difficult as you move through the interview. Make sure you practice pacing yourself beforehand because I know for me personally, it's really easy to start off slowly and then I wouldn't actually have time to finish the questions later on. So practice pacing yourself and try to be aware of the time limit as you're going. This next thing isn't necessarily something that Google has on their website, so I don't know if it's true or like formal information. One of the things that I gathered from talking to my friends who did STEP and also my own experiences is that if you're a first year student, one of your interview slots will just be for like technical but non-coding questions. And then one of your interview slots will be actual coding questions. However, if you're a second year student applying, both of the interview slots will be coding interviews. So be sure to prepare accordingly. Also, again, don't take that as like 
what's actually the truth. That's just what I've learned from talking to people. Things may have changed and just take what like your recruiter says to be truth at the end of the day. If you're interested in future videos giving interview advice or anything like that, please leave a comment down below letting me know because right now I don't have one on the schedule, but if people are interested, I will make one. Now that I've gone over some logistics and my advice, I'm just going to share a little bit about my experience with Step because honestly, I feel like it was the best possible introduction I could have gotten to Google. When you accept your offer, you go through a process of team matching where essentially you just talk to hosts throughout the country, just trying to figure out what team is the best for you in terms of like culture, the actual product they're working on and location. Additionally, for Step, unlike other Google internships, you're actually matched with a pod mate who is essentially another Step intern who is working with you throughout the summer to finish the project together. The podmate structure is such a great way to do an introductory internship because it makes sure that you don't feel alone or isolated. But honestly, it's great to have a partner during one of your first internships because sometimes it can feel scary to ask people questions, but when you're with someone else, you can kind of do things together, which makes things a lot less intimidating. In terms of the specific work that I was doing, I had the amazing opportunity to work at YouTube HQ in San Bruno, California. California. I was living in San Francisco at the time and commuting to work each day and it was such a fantastic experience. It's actually the reason I started my own YouTube channel because it was such a fun place to work. My project itself was working on the front end of the YouTube mobile app for Android. So if you use that, I contributed to it. If you're interested in hearing more about the YouTube experience, please check out the video I posted a while back sharing what it's like to work at YouTube headquarters. If you have any other questions about my experience in general or any tips that you'd like, just let me know in the comments down below. I love to talk about it. It was such a great summer and I just really like sharing stuff. So be sure to ask questions and I'll do my best to get back to you or maybe even make a video to let you know. So that's it all about Google Step. I hope that this video was helpful for you and maybe gives you that kickstart you need to start looking into applying to it. I hope that the information was also like helpful. I tried to do my research before making the video, plus kind of draw from my own experiences. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Best of luck in applying for STEP and any other internship programs you may be looking into. And seriously, let me know in the comments down below if you used this video and then ended up applying to STEP and getting an interview or getting an offer. I would love to hear your success stories. Um, it just makes me really happy to know. Before I go, please make sure to give this video a like down below and leave a comment letting me know what you thought. Additionally, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more college and tech tips in the future. As always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!